Hi, y'all. It's Bridget Cutshaw with Real Things Living. Today, my guest is Janet Hudson. She's an advanced nurse practitioner and Air Force veteran who also suffered 25 years of pain, and we'll go into that later. She discovered some holistic methods. Can you say hi, Janet? Hi, everybody. Thanks for having me, Bridget. I appreciate um, your time, and I think lessons from people like you is so important to hear you share your stories. That's um, because there's not just one way to fix something, right? And that's what you obviously learned, right? And you have an amazing background, nursing and Air Force. And uh, so were you in a nurse in the Air Force? I'm just, can you explain your background a little bit? Sure. Actually, I started with a two-year RN and was married to my husband who was active duty Air Force. And I'm also an Army brat. So I lived the Army life with my parents and always um, felt that urge to be, uh, to serve my country. I just, I mean, it, it almost sounds kind of corny nowadays, but I really had that, um, that want to serve my country. So I knew I needed a four-year degree in order to come in as a nurse in the Air Force. So while he was actually on a remote tour to Iceland, I finished up my bachelor's degree. And when he got back, then I went ahead and signed up and was commissioned in the Air Force. Oh, wow. That's cool. I'm the same, by the way, I'm an army, I'm an army brat. So that's the kind of, I didn't go into the military, but I'd still want to help people. You're in that environment, right? And yes. yes. So how long were you in the Air Force? Just, I was in just about 13 years and in the nursing field altogether, about 42 years. I retired last year from doing anesthesia wow. and I was really blessed. The Air Force chose me to go to get my master's degree in nurse anesthesia. So I was blessed to be able to do that uh, uh, as a captain in the Air Force. And then I served another, I guess, eight years after I got my degree with the Air Force and really had planned to stay in and retire from the Air Force. But then, you know, life sometimes gets in the way. I had some, my dad passed away unexpectedly and other issues that we just decided it was time to settle down somewhere and raise our kids in one place. So we made the decision to get out. Yeah, yeah I, I understand that. I, I'm sure it's hard, especially when your father is ill, you want to be there for him yeah. and make, yeah. I was used to jumping around a lot too, like you, as a, being the, the child so you had mentioned too, that you had some pain, like nerve pain and low energy. This is in a previous conversation, guys. Uh -huh. So what do you think was behind that? Even as a nurse, you probably had to, you know, trying to find the solutions. What do you think was behind all that? Well, I pretty much know exactly what was behind it. Bob and I went to Desert Storm, both of us together, sent our two-year-old down to Florida to be with our family, which probably was the hardest part about serving in that eight months. But what happened with all of Desert Storm issues, there were a lot of environmental things we were exposed to, uh, oil fields, things that were ingested into us to try to maybe help prevent being issues from being chemically attacked, but also may have done some damage. So things like anthrax that we were receiving. Wow. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, they, yeah, they injected anthrax into us and their thought process was if we were chemically attacked, that perhaps it would help us to do better. And, you know, we were given other drugs to help with that too, like proteostigmine. But what we found out over periods of years when people came back from Desert Storm, when there was these whole different symptoms uh, that happened that they call a golf war illness or golf war syndrome. And of course, my husband and I were in the same location over there. We had the same things exposed to us. But when we came back to the States within a two year period, I got really sick. He did not. And that's pretty kind of typical. There's a certain ratio of people that were over there certain percentage that would get ill and some would have no symptoms. So what's interesting is the variety of symptoms that you can have uh, issues. I had developed two autoimmune issues, some nerve damage in my arms and legs that caused pain and, and burning all the time. And I had stomach issues and sleep disturbances. Those were my main issues and some low energy issues. So I searched once I figured out, okay, it's, this is not in my head and 
know, go to all these doctors trying to figure out what's going on. And then finally the government says, oh, oh, there's all these symptoms that are part of the Gulf War syndrome. So I'm like, okay, this now makes sense of why my body's going through all these different things. Uh, I was able to get some help through the VA and, but also as a nurse practitioner, I, I know the effects that drugs have on your body. And so many times the drugs that are given to help people with the issues I had caused other issues. And then they would give another drug for those issues, right? For the side effects or whatever. So I didn't want to go down that path. So I always search for more holistic, natural ways to heal. I've all done for many, many years, chiropractic care, massage therapy, deep tissue massage, acupuncture at times, uh, lots of different supplements that I've used over the years and a piece of medical equipment that increases your microcirculation to help with things. So I had some results with all of that, but the symptoms would always come back if I stopped that, those treatments, oh, they wow. the symptoms would come back. So I just kept searching and in my networking experiences, I found, came across somebody who was using a technology company called LifeWave and they have patch technology that was actually designed for the military initially but the patch that we usually talk about uh, is called X39 and it elevates a copper peptide in our body by using light therapy. And that copper peptide they've known for gosh, almost 50 years, a gentleman by the name of Lauren Picard discovered it, that copper peptide. And it does amazing things for the body. It reactivates and elevates and enhances stem cell activity. It resets genes, it floods the body with collagen. It does all these things in the mitochondria, the, which is pretty much the uh, energy source of each cell. It, it just does all this stuff. And when I heard about it, I was like, well, I heard decreased pain and inflammation. So I'm like, okay, sign me up. I want somebody, right. you know? but my, my second thought was, oh, this sounds too good to be true. I mean, really, how can we're in this patch, you know, do all this stuff. So when I was waiting for the patches to arrive, I did a deep dive into the company, into the studies, which were well done, double blind studies. And I kind of geeked out on all of that um, research stuff that was done. And it, it started to make sense to me once I understood the mechanism of how it's working. And then I can't really negate the thousands to millions of people around the world that have had amazing testimonies on how it's helped them. So I used the patches. I was, of course, didn't really feel any different, but then I started sleeping really well. And mm -hmm. then my joint and muscle pain went away and my swelling went away. And just over periods of time, different things got better until um, the nerve issues took about seven months, but they've been gone now for a year and a half. And I don't have that issue anymore. The pain that can go like from your back down through your buttocks into your feet, that kind of pain that everybody probably is familiar with, um, that went away in about three months. So, and it's not been back. So I've had two ablations on that area in the past to try to relieve that pain. So to, to really be functioning like I was before I ever went to Saudi Arabia, you know, 30 years ago, is just amazing to be able to, you know, live, live the life that I would like to live, be able to travel and be comfortable and just have a more vibrant life and have more energy. All those things have been just really life-changing for me personally. That is an amazing story. And it, I've noticed that uh, having a more holistic perspective is becoming more popular now. Um, it, is. It, it is. I've seen it more or heard it more. I've never heard of Lifeway though, until you and I connected, but I do know like the, uh, cause I've had cancer in the past, the chemo pod or ward, whatever to call it. They're now offering patients uh, acupuncture at the Good. traditional hospital, which I think is, is cool. Now I haven't had to have that, but I think a lot has to do with your body, right? And everybody's a little different. And that's probably why you had ended up getting symptoms and your husband did not. And that's a great example of one solution is not going to be the best for everybody, but Correct. like the, this patch you're talking about this, you said mentioned phototherapy. How does it, I guess it's boosting your immune system. Obviously your immune system is really, it's helping your immune system kick in properly. Correct. It is. Um, honestly, the company is 20 years old and okay. it, 
amazed me that I hadn't heard of it because as much research I do with holistic things trying right. to stuff for myself, I'm like, how do you about this? Um, and initially the scientist, um, biologist, inventor, David Schmidt was working with the Navy SEALs and okay. he actually, they were looking for energy for their um, Marines to be able to function on those long deployments without amphetamines and caffeine and all that stuff. So he designed a patch for energy that was very effective. Unfortunately, 9-11 happened and the government went to, you know, anti-terrorism, which they should. And he had the ability at that point to bring that technology out into the public sector. And, and that's when he launched LifeWave as a company. Uh, okay. Yeah. That is really, I mean, I'm just so glad that I learned about this because healing it takes, it takes a while, right? And you knew that you mentioned it took seven months for one of your symptoms to go away. But I think some people pop pills personally, just a short-term solution. And it sounds like what you're doing is more of a long-term solution for your issue. And what's really important to remember, and I think Americans are really do poorly at this. They want that instant Yes. Well, right now, you know, I just want to have something that I'm going to just do and it's going to make everything all better. It takes a lot of time for our bodies to get into the shape that they're in when we decide we need something to make them feel better. And so it takes time for that healing process to happen. And we have all these studies that prove that the patches are working and doing things at the cellular level, but sometimes people can't feel that. It might take two, three, four, six months for their, what yes. issue they have to go away. Right. Um, a lot of times we tell people, take a picture of your face because you will have changes in your face and your complexion and your skin, wow. uh, decreased wrinkles and that kind of stuff, which is, wasn't why I went on the patches, but I'm like, okay, <laughs> if I'm going to look younger, that's good. You know? Um, and I've been following my metabolic age, um, which is the age that your cells are working and your body as a whole and I've gone over a year ago, I was 48 when I was 63 and now I'm 44 at uh, age 65. So wow. yeah, met, so metabolically, if you're running less than your stated age, your chances of living a longer life are going up. Yeah. Wow. And David Schmidt talks about some of our patch technology that actually lengthens telomeres, which is at the end of your chromosomes. And it's actually an indicator of length of life. And this technology actually lengthens the telomeres, makes them longer. And I'm sure when they first developed this, they didn't know some of this, correct? Oh, yeah. Well, he he's very extensive in his study. He doesn't launch anything without lots of studies right. on patches. And over the years, he designed targeted patches for sleep and pain and different things on glutathione. But he knew the holy grail of age reversal, not just anti-aging, but reversing age is stem cells. I mean, right. so in the medicine world, in the next 20 years, all you're going to hear about is stem cell activity things and um, raising copper peptides. So copper peptides and stem cells, those are going to be kind of the wave of the future in a lot of people's minds. And there's so much experimentation going on worldwide about those two things um, because they have the ability to reverse things that are going on in our bodies without drugs. And it's more, right. It is more of a natural thing in the phototherapy. How does that, I'm just trying to figure out, you put the patch on, is it once a day? I'm just curious. You wear them. The majority of our patches are meant to be worn for about 12 hours a day. Okay. And the reason you don't wear them all the time, because I get that question a lot. I'm like, oh, I was just curious. I'm like, no, don't wear it all the time because our body, what is, well, let me explain a little bit about the technology. You put the patch on, you have an infrared body field that is circling, it's going around your whole body. We can't see it with a naked eye, but you can see it with in night vision goggles. Like when in movies, when you see that man glowing, that's your infrared field. <laughs> that field, and I'm going to simplify it a little bit, but that field interacts with the patch and it's kind of like um, stimulating at a low level of light, makes a wavelength of light go in the body. And that wavelength of light does different things depending on what kind of patch you have on. So the one that activates or elevates uh, stem cell production is um, actually elevating that copper peptide. Okay. So if you signal something constantly, like if we wore that patch 24 hours a day, eventually your body does something called attenuation, 
where it just stops uh, responding as much to that stimulus. So that's why he found through studies wearing about 12 hours a day and then letting your body rest for 12 hours was the most productive of the patch. So do you wear them when you're awake? Uh, obviously during the day or just kidding? Um, most people wear them during the day. That patch in particular, you want to keep your body really um, well hydrated. Uh, almost all the functions in our body work better if we're well hydrated. Right. The main issue, I think, with people as they get older is they don't want to drink as much fluid because then they're having to go to the restroom, right? So they're, you know, they're like, oh, I'm not going to drink because I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. Well, your body, that's part of your body's natural system to detox you is to, you know, have that happening. You need to have that happening. Um, and stem cells, as they're replacing cells that are older or damaged with new cells, they're going to give off what I would just call very non-scientifically toxins and trash, you want to flush that out of your system. You don't want it to sit around. Then you might have a little headache or, you know, achy or just tired kind of feeling. So you want to flush everything out. But I, I, as you were talking, I had a massage the other day and I was tired and, but it was good, but yeah. it, you still, they get that. People don't realize you get toxins in your muscles, right? Yes. And, it, and, you do, you and I knew I needed that. That's why I recommend you drink a lot of water <laughs> afterwards. Not they before, because do. you don't want to have to go while you're getting massaged. <laughs> but afterward, it was uh, it was amazing. I'd, I'd done the same thing, the um, like massages and chiropractor, but I don't have the, the issue with you. Does this, do you know if the testing, has it been used on people who've had cancer? I'm just curious. We don't, there's three different things that we don't say that we, we like to have use our patches on. One is we don't say for pregnancy because we don't test on pregnant people, right? Right. We leave that up to the individual, whether they want to use our patches during that time. If somebody's had a organ transplant, you don't want to use our patches because you're trying to suppress the immune ah, system. The new, people. right. The new organ, right? Right. Right. So, and the other one is during active chemotherapy, we don't want people to use our stem cell activating patch. Not that it, uh, we just don't want to interfere with any process that they're do using for that. Once the they're completed their um, treatment, then absolutely. We like to help them to right. get the toxins and, and get stuff out. I see it as something that's just helping your body heal and building your immune system. And it, it helped you. It's just amazing story that he had all this problems over the years and now you're doing so much better and that's why right you have to let people know about it. i never knew about this and yeah, as, as a nurse i was very amazed at wound healing you know stem cells help wound healing a lot so when you're young and you go scrape your knee off, off the bike or whatever you heal really quickly and when you're our age in the 50s yes. and 60s, you don't heal as well right I, so it's been amazing to see wounds heal and get better off so much quicker with this technology. Right. I remember my mother-in-law telling me that she, you know, she gets a, like you said, a, a cut or something and it takes a lot longer for her to heal. And she's right. Or she was right. <laughs> yes, but you got to take that for granted. It just as we've been here on this earth a little bit longer, your body has been working a lot, right? Over these years. And this is helping like you said, boost the healing process. And yeah, it's really given us a little more of a, um, just more uh, energy and rejuvenation yes. and just feeling more like we did when we were younger so that we can do the things we enjoy doing longer in life. That's, you know, that's my big thing. So people say, well, Jan, are you going to wear these patches forever? I'm like, absolutely. Um, <laughs> because, and I, I'm not saying that my symptoms would come back. I don't know that because I'm not going to come off them to figure that out. But the thing that I love is that I know that it's taking care of whatever's going on inside my body to keep me as healthy as I can, as far as cellularly, like things are, are cooking really good there. And people are like, well, what if I'm not really feeling any changes for a while? I said, well, when you take vitamins, do you feel a change? And most people say no, or maybe a little energy, and especially like if they're low on B12 or something right. and I'll say, well, do you still take them? <laughs> and they're like, yes. <laughs> I said, well, it's just another way to keep your body uh, in homeostasis and 
cooking at its best place, you know, just keeping it uh, as healthy as possible. So for me personally, I won't. Now we do have some people who have certain issues, like maybe they have a knee problem and we have certain ways that you can place the patches that will actually um, help grow back meniscus and cartilage, which you know, in the past, if you talk to any orthopedic doctor, they're going to say, um, that's not possible. <laughs> well, it is possible with this new technology. I mean, it's possible because, um, that X39 patch came out in 2019 and our company has exploded because we're number one in momentum out of all network marketing companies right now in the world, because it works and it works on so many different things. So that's been the really fun part for me. And to help veterans, it's kind of my really big why in life. I want to help as many veterans as I can with this technology because it even helps anxiety, post-traumatic stress, depression, those oh, kinds yeah. of things. Yeah. I was thinking about that about because a lot of people in the military have, have mental issues. Um, yeah. I should say mental, but uh, stress, a lot of stress and anxiety. How's that? Yeah. And yeah. Post-traumatic stress, it's... Yeah. Uh, They've been through a lot, way more than I was, um, you know, over there in the desert. We were very blessed to not have a lot of casualties at our, at our air transportable hospital. Right. That's, it's just so, it's just amazing that I got a, a lot of people complain about tech, but this, I should, this is considered technology to me. It right? is. And it, yeah. and it helped that the people who helped be part of the testing, said the right word, um, trial, do they have like trials? Or do you know about that? Yeah, all the studies are done with a certain uh, amount of people testing things and they test with blood and urine and all these special equipment that I couldn't even begin to explain to you because I don't understand it. Uh, <laughs> right, that's okay. Oh my God, I don't know what that is. But um, of course, I'm not doing research anymore. So yeah, just uh, amazing. And he he won't put out, he being David Schmidt, uh, he won't put out any of the technology without really good studies. So Oh, that's, that's good. Cause you want it to be safe. Cause you just like, everybody's different. Right. Yeah. I think it's this amazing story of your, your healing story and you took the holistic perspective and you try the traditional stuff. And I think <laughs> when you look at TV, I just crack me up every time I watch TV. I, and usually I'm streaming, so I'm not watching commercials because it drives <laughs> right, me right. right. Like they're all about different drugs. Like almost yes. every one of them is about a drug. And then it's 30 seconds of what this could happen to you, including death. I'm like, right. Why would you do this? Right. I, I know I'm the same. We don't really watch much TV, but the only time we have with commercials, if my husband likes to watch the football playoffs, right. And that's when you have all these drug um, advertisements and the side effects is longer than the actual <laughs> that they yeah. have to read. Like, why would you do that? I'm sorry. That's just to me, not, not worth the uh, effort, but then to with something like this, getting involved with life, but you would think, People will know more about this, but I think you, you, the, uh, what's the word? The uh, medical community, they probably not, it's not as widespread as some people think, right? It's not, I mean, they're working on that. Well, there are a lot of doctors, both physicians, um, chiropractors, nurse practitioners, holistic health people that are in the company, um, oh, using it on their, on their patients and clients. Um, they're, most physicians, though, in the world probably don't really even know about it yet, but I think right. that's changed, you know, over the coming years because, I mean, that's one reason why um, my husband, Bob, and I decided to do this as a business. We wanted to reach as many people as we could, um, and especially, like I said, to reach veterans. So to me, that was worth our time and effort to do that. Um, and it does give you some credibility to have a nursing background too. Do you know what I'm saying? It just, for some people, it it just helps because you've seen both sides of it and you're yes. benefiting from this um, technology. I don't like using technology, but that's kind of what I think it technology. is. It's a, it's a registered medical device with the FDA. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah. And it's a patented technology. All of our perfect. technology is patented. Um, so it, it really, um, can make a lot of difference in people's lives with, without, without side effects. That's um, perfect. Yeah. Without those uh, side effects that I'll take one minute to read. Yeah. Um. <laughs> nothing, nothing's going into the body except a, a wavelength of light. So there's nothing that 
there's no chemicals, there's no um, medication, nothing like that is in that patch. It's just technology. I was just curious too, as you're, you're talking like, like inflammation, like how, like, like si people, some people have a lot of sinus problems. So mm -hmm. this lightweight probably helps reduce that inflammation or. Well, we never say that we cure. No, or... I was just wondering, it helps rather than popping a drug yeah. for that. That's, that's my point. Right. Yes. There, there are different ways we can place patches that help any part of our body, whether it's sinuses or. Um, I was knee. just curious because. Yeah. We do I just know so many people this time of year. That's why it came up because it's spring is falling, and I'm I'm one of those people. I I have to take like a allergy pill because I will sneeze, my brains out, and then I'll I shouldn't say my brain, but I get I I'll end up getting like a sinus infection if I keep having pollen shoved up, you know. And I love that to be outside, but it's um I so I went to the saline spray route. Janet, which helps. How's that? <laughs> that does help. Yeah, that does help. It, uh, yeah, we, what I tell people is we, we try not to talk about disease processes or yes, diagnosis. Yes. We just talk about symptoms. So the things like sneezing and stuffy nose and eyes watering, all those things, you know, can certainly be helped with our patch technology, but I was just curious. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cause I, I'm just this time of year and I think um, the fall is the same thing. It's just beautiful what you guys are doing. And so my last, I guess, question, what is the biggest takeaway that you can give to the listeners being involved, going from, you know, all your issues that you were suffering for 25 years to now doing this treatment? What is the biggest takeaway? For you? I think the biggest takeaway, and I love to do talks on this, is the patches are one aspect that can help your health. But really, there's a lot of things you can do for your own health that actually help stem cell activity and, and other things and boost your immune system. Things like getting regular exercise, eating the right things. At least I do the 80-20 rule. So like 80% of the time, I try to eat really healthy and clean and 20% of the time, <laughs> right. whatever I want, because you know life's short. So, but trying to eat healthy, drinking plenty of good water, you know, that's filtered at least with not a bunch of chemicals in it. Those are the kinds of things and, and some certain supplementation, I think is important for us to have though, things that we don't get in our food and soil because it's so depleted and things. So some supplementing, it's good. But so all those things together can really get your stem cell activity functioning at a better, better place. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's just not just our technology. I think that helps. I think when people try to, you know, really look, look at everything in their lives. And even if they can make small changes, I mean, I have people in their eighties and nineties on these patches and they can't maybe do some of the exercise that a 50 or 60 year old can do, but they can do chair yoga and they can walk. They could do the things that they can do. That's to, right. People take that stuff for granted. Yeah. <laughs> like you can walk right now. Who knows what will be if, if I'm still here in my eighties, right? You just and all that's so important for bone health too. The act, the um, oh yeah, lightweight patches help bone health. Also, will help actually increase your bone density and things. But all those other things you're doing along with it are really important. So yeah, to not forget. Yeah, I like how you said that. It's not don't just do the patch. You still have to do some self care, like with the yeah. drinking and the sleeping and moving yeah. and eating good. I mean, it's okay to have. You eat some bad stuff sometimes because life is short. <laughs> it's short. Um, we're on the, it's definitely on the same page, Janet, on that. On the diet part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I did learn to one of the things I learned. And just before I wrap this up, I have yeah. a dairy issue. I can't eat dairy. I saw a holistic epidemiologist who discovered I got inf inflammation in my body when I have dairy. And so I cut that out, which was really, really hard. It's like, a, but the pain, the weird body pains, I was like, went away. So it was causing, so just stuff like that. I never in a million years um, would have thought about that until, but I just, these uh, one doctor I saw was telling me to take pain meds where I'm like, no, what's the cause of what's going on? <laughs> exactly. Let's get to the root. Right, right. And it was dairy and oh gosh, that, that was hard to stop but you know, ice it, cream cheese but I, I don't eat dairy anymore i have goat cheese because it's a different something about the genetics of that the dna is a little different than a cow 
but I don't eat it much. But anyway, I, I enjoy life, guys. Eat cheese if you like it, if you can. But <laughs> so where can people learn more about you, Janet? Where can they find you? Well, they can find me at um, Janet Hudson for health at Gmail. I'm actually working on a website, so I can't give them that yet. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, but if they connect with me there, and I, I love to consult with people to find out what's going on with them and start building a relationship with them to to work through um, what issues they're having and see if we can help. So I'd rather them just contact me, you know, by email and, and then go. Okay. There is a website if they want to learn more about the, the X39, which is a patch that actually will um, elevate that copper peptide and ca uh, cause your uh, stem cells to get rejuvenated. Um, it's called start x39 now.com. And it's a great source. It has all of the studies on there before and after pictures, which are just amazing testimonials. It's all in there. Some videos explaining uh, what I've been talking about maybe to in a better way because they're professionally done. <laughs> That's okay. This is, but what, what resonates, you know, your stories because you actually experience this, right. And so you've been, You've been uh, helped with your healing a lot. And I think this is a, a beautiful story. I appreciate your time. And for those that are listening, I will include the links that Janet mentioned. And I will also include her LinkedIn link if you want to connect with her that way as well, right? Great. That'd be great. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so Thank much, you. Janet. Thank you, Bridget. I appreciate you having me on. This is awesome. Have a great day, everybody.